education team. We in fact run a program which is unique in India called Onko, uh, Onko Rehab program which involves first of all psychological support and Mezabin, I don't see her here, I don't know where she is. Oh, she's there. Uh, Mezabin is for everyone who's here and all the other departments such as radiology and lab and doing this. Reliance Foundation Hospital also is one of the other specialists who do a treatment which is very specific and site specific. So for example, we have Dr. Marzi Mehta who does thoracic oncology, Dr. Uh, Srikant who does mainly uro-oncology, we have Dr. Parej Jain who does uh, GI oncology, Dr. Samuel Vyas who does mainly hepatobiliary, the precision oncology part of it. So we are very blessed, I mean people ask me Prasad, uh, you know, how is it working at RFH and I said more than all the infrastructure we have is the team that we have here uh, who has been supporting our patients and helping the oncology team to grow leaps and bounds. So thank you very much. A big shout out to um, everyone here. We are um, expecting our chief guest to arrive in a few minutes. I, I wanted to ask if anyone want to share something while we await uh, their arrival. More than just having a conversation, we are looking at helping them build up their social connect. We want them to be more aware. Thank I you, Justin. Coming from you, it does mean something. I was just telling them about What's not going to happen to me? My husband's college friend. So we've all been a bit. I'll speak to you after. <laughs> okay. Hello, hello. Ah, yeah, no friend. Yes. Please leave the way. I don't know where to sit. Part of the program will involve uh, involve a few things related to uh, World Cancer Day, and I will start by requesting our dynamic CEO, Dr. Taran Gyanchandani. Her support and her enthusiasm is amazing. She is there. She's always there for us, and and that is a great great motivator that helps us to actualize what we want to do. And I would request her to come and talk to us. Uh, all our patients who have taken treatment at our hospital and the staff, a very, very good evening to all of you. And uh, today is a very, very important day, uh, which the world marks cancer have a tip of the iceberg phenomenon. What does that mean? It means that they are not obvious or present until the disease has progressed to a very late stage where this year the theme of World Cancer Day declared by the Union for International Oncology is an area of major emphasis for all of us. According to the data shared, the most commonly diagnosed cancer with an estimated 2.3 billion new cases every year, followed by lung cancer, liver, stomach, and female breast cancers. In India, as per the National Cancer Registry Program of ICMR, the number of new cancer cases in the female Two-third of them are already in advanced stages at the time of diagnosis. 
The recent trends have shown a growing focus on the screening for early detection and prevention. It just needs awareness which we all have to come together and spread. For example, a mammography screening has shown to reduce... In a large study conducted by the National Cancer Institute, women who were screened regularly had a 29% lower risk of dying from breast cancer than the women who were not screened. Similarly, for colorectal cancer screening, if they are picked up at an early stage. A study published by the Journal of National Cancer Institute also found that individuals who are of dying from colorectal compared to those who are never screened. Early screening, as we all know, offers several advantages. Early detection, better outcomes. The theme, bridge the care gap, involves a holistic approach with early identification of adverse illusions through preventive strategies, increasing availability and cost-effective utilization of the existing screening modalities, and using the advanced technology, I'm sure, that and have more and more people diagnosed at an early stage so that they can be made cancer-free as soon as possible. Our motto in this respect will be to prevent cancer and preserve life. With this, I would really like to thank Vidyaji for her presence here for this course and also help us to enhance the awareness about this disease which in today's world is worse than any epidemic or pandemic. So thank you so much for being with us. And thank you so much, Dr. Harivarti, as a director and as a leader for Oco Science, to ensure that we not only develop uh, the best of the treatment modalities, but also focus on treating. I'm Nicha Jain. Nicha Jain. Yeah, please, just one more. Wait, wait, wait. Look, camera. One Which more safety. <laughs> Left, wait, wait, center, wait. right. Hold. One more safety. Look, camera. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Ma'am, I want solo picture. Sure. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I love it. Thank you. Wait, wait, the block check. Yes. 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 Ma'am, center. Yes. 
Thank you. So thank you very much, everyone, for being with us and sharing with us this. Uh, so now we come to uh, to the doctors and the staff, each and Lions Hospital, with today's invitation. Uh, because someone very dear to me was diagnosed with cancer a few months ago, and it obviously took us all by surprise and shock. I think it takes. Cancer is so dreaded and there's so much stigma associated with cancer that you always imagine the worst. And that doctor said, you know, uh, cancer is preventable and I wish we all undertook tests from time to time to make sure that we are uh, keeping cancer at bay. And if there is a cancer, then we're getting it treated early on. And I think all this is possible because there is so much fear and stigma associated with cancer. I know most people, even when they're experiencing symptoms, you know, like bodily changes, or they a lot of times don't want to, uh, you know, consider the possibility that it might be cancer. It's because fear is so huge and they don't get timely tests done. And that only, I think, aggravates the situation. So, um, you know, without going into details, I just want to say that, um, firstly, Dr. Pujampai, you know, I cannot begin to tell you how grateful I am to you for having stood by our family, and not just our family, I know that we've sent so many people to you over the years, and whether people across socio-economic strata, and you've served everyone with the same kind of care and concern and thank you and God bless you for that. And uh, like I said again, um, Dr. Mohan Mehan is not here today, but he's someone else I'd like to thank. Dr. Himanshu, uh, you know, they've all been wonderful through this process of treatment that uh, my dear one has been receiving here. Uh, but you know, when through this, these past few months, a few things have come to light for me. Even for me, cancer was, you know, something that doesn't happen to anyone I know. So I didn't want to know any more about it. If anyone said cancer, it was, I just like shut myself to it. But because, um, 